Now may I invite Ms. Joanne Ju, the Director of the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in New York, to say a few words. Joanne. Commissioner to USA Clement, um, Lieutenant Governor McKee, and uh, Mayor Winthrop, uh, Mayor Fong, uh, Richard, uh, David, Brad, all the distinguished guests and friends of Hong Kong. First of all, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I think we all know that the reason why we are all here is to show support to members of our SHK Scallywag team here. And so we are so proud of the courageous fighting spirit and the true sportsmanship. And actually, Scallywag is the first ever Hong Kong entry in the Volvo Ocean Race. And it is also the first time that Hong Kong has been included in one of the stopover city of this international sailing competition. So thanks to Scallywag and thanks to Volvo Ocean Race for bringing us to Newport, this lovely city, and also the sailing capital of the world. <laughs> Sail Newport, Brad, uh, Pat, as well as other members of their team and all the volunteers for helping us to organize the reception uh, this afternoon to pay tributes to our sailing heroes from Hong Kong. Yeah. First of all, I would like to commend Skipper David Witt and members of the team uh, for your fortitude and unwavering spirit to continue the ocean, uh, the Boa Ocean Race in memory and in honor of your teammate and friend. John Fisher. Uh, your resilience and determination greatly resonate the Hong Kong uh, 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 spirit, the can-do spirit of Hong Kong, to persevere and to uh, bounce back and fight on. So we are all very, very proud of you. And of course, this is my first visit uh, to Newport, and, and I'm very uh, impressed with this uh, panoramic view uh, of the bay. Uh, being surrounded by water reminds me of my hometown, uh, that is Hong Kong, and where we are known for our very uh, breathtaking skyline on both uh, sides of the iconic Victoria Harbour. And Hong Kong is now currently Rhode Island's number five largest Asian export market, uh, with close to half of your products in high-end uh, goods uh, like computers and electronics. Uh, so many of you in this room are supporters of what we do on a regular basis, which has put thousands and thousands of children in through sailing lessons. I'd like to thank the president of our board of directors and so many of our board here. Amy Kemp, thank you very much for all you do. And I'd like to also say that, um, you know, Newport and Rhode Island and Narragansett Bay, we've been welcoming uh, mariners for millennium, it seems like, right? Rum runners. Pirates like scallywags, <laughs> the naval officers, recreational boaters, and of course, uh, great sailors and, and uh, regatta goers uh, throughout the years. Like you were saying, Chairman, this, this event is very important to Rhode Island. It's an economic boost. Uh, in May of uh, 2015, when we had this race, nearly 47, 000, uh, 47 million dollars of new economic income was generated by the Volvo Ocean Race. It's important for us, and it's important for our future. And thank you to the state of Rhode Island for recognizing that the Sail Newport and the New York Yacht Club, Ida Lewis Yacht Club, all the different entities around this bay are providing a real economic benefit to the marine trades, to tourism, and to the healthy lifestyle that we love on the water in Narragansett Bay. So thank you very much all for being in our wonderful new facility, and uh, welcome to the Volvo Ocean Race in Newport, Rhode Island. Thank you. You know, Newport has a rich history, and we are very, very proud of our, of our sailing history. Uh, we're, we're a seafaring town, but we're also a town of a tremendous amount of history, colonial history. We have more colonial homes here in the city of Newport than any place in, in the United States. We have the, 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 the mansions. And Newport was founded on religious freedoms uh, back in 1639. And if you walk around town, you're going to see dozens and dozens of churches of different denominations here in the city of Newport. And while you're here, especially the crew from, from Scallywag, what I would like to do is I'd like David Witt to come up because I want to give him a, a little gift which I want to give to each member of the, uh, of the crew. What I'd like to present to you with each member, of the, each member of the crew, I'd like to give you our official city coin. 
from the city of Newport. This will bring you good luck on the on the final legs of your journey. And that's our pineapple, which is our symbol of hospitality, and then the crest of the city. So I want to thank thank you guys all so so much. Thank you. I'd like to present to Mr. to Clement Leong a book on the city of Newport. This is all about Newport's history, the great history that we have. And Joanne, I'd like to present you with the official city tile from the, from, from the city of Newport. Thank you very much. So it gives me great privilege to be here uh, on behalf of all the Asian Americans, particularly anyone from China and Hong Kong, to represent everyone and say thank you so much for bringing Team Scallywag, bringing Hong Kong and their culture to Newport, to Rhode Island, because you are an important part of our culture here in the state a growing part of it, and it means so much uh, to all of us. So on behalf of my residents, I'd like to present a key to our city, being the first Asian American mayor ever in the state's history, uh, to you, Chairman, and want to thank you for uh, being part of this very special occasion. It's, uh, it's an historic edition of the Volvo Ocean Race, this one, because it's the first time ever that the race uh, stopped in Hong Kong. And uh, it was also the, a very historic moment when we stopped in Hong Kong because it was not only the first time we had a Hong Kong boat in the race, but also the first win of the Hong Kong team into Hong Kong. <laughs> but it's, uh, it was a great honor to be there. We hope to come back to Hong Kong with the race one day. But it's also an historic first that you have a, a pavilion in the Newport Race Village, uh, the Hong Kong Pavilion. And as you said, you should all go down and visit it. The, I, I think the, the future of the Volvo Ocean Race is bright. We have 45 years behind us and hopefully more than 45 years ahead of us. And we will continue to innovate. We will continue to embrace new technologies and continue to reach out to new audiences. and. Uh, so with that, I'd just like to say thank you to all of you for being here, and thank you for having us. We all vote to race, as you say, we love Newport. It's uh, truly outstanding. Thank you. Uh, firstly, I'd like to just thank the most important people in the room, all the mothers. Uh, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are out here. None of us would be here enjoying ourselves if we didn't have a mother. So. <laughs> Um, I'd just like to say that the team and myself are uh, we're firstly delighted to be here and be hosted by uh, you know, the, our guests, Friend Hong Kong, um, as normal in yachting, the, 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 the relationship started in a bar. Um, one of the gentlemen at, at Brand Hong Kong is an Australian from Brisbane and just happened to, used to play rugby against me, so uh, <laughs> anyway, once, once the two of us got out of the way and real people got involved, I think uh, the relationship with Brand Hong Kong and uh, Team Scallywag and also the Volvo Ocean Race, it's, uh, this one is a, a joint venture between Volvo and us. Uh, we both uh, wanted to do the best we could for Hong Kong, being the first stop over. Um, obviously, the race will come back there because I'll bend Richard's arm. Um, but uh, no, it's been uh, it's been extremely uh, you know it's been a privilege for us to represent the country, and uh, I can just say from whether it was luck or uh, whatever happened, but our result into Hong Kong certainly I think put sailing on the map. I know in Hong Kong, I know the boss has also introduced a, a youth program where he's going to put uh, a lot of privileged kids through sailing in Hong Kong. So I think. You know, I've been standing here and I'm just listening to every similarity between Newport and Hong Kong. I live in Hong Kong, I'll stay there, but I'm going to visit here a lot. So, thanks very much.